All right, this is the T3 Gears version of um, the Beaver Tail Assault Pack from, uh, and I believe the company that uh, produces it for actually Ar the actual Army Surplus uh, bag is the uh, Eagle Industries, I believe it was. So Eagles Industries has this Beaver Tail uh, Assault Pack that I saw. And the whole reason I got into this, well, first of all, let me, let me explain the beaver tail thing. Okay, here we go. I I found this to be very unique. Okay, you got a net mesh in here. And it stretches. It can be adjusted as far as the rest of it goes uh, for that pouch there with the net. Okay, uh, this is a salt style pack. Uh, or actually, it's a... The actual Eagle Industries tag would say um, uh, Beaver Tail Assault Pack. Um, I saw it. It first came up on my radar when I saw a video from Venture Surplus. If you're not subscribed to him, he does a lot of uh, Army Surplus things. Um, certain things are available, like in in Waves. Uh, not everything's always available. I, I, when he brought his up, and he had those, um, like, um, what are they? called the other color it's like a like an earth tone color army surplus ones but i noticed they're going for like like it was like two three hundred bucks or something for a bag for a little bag it wasn't like it was a hiking bag or something now i was in the market at the time before i saw that for a um a hydration bladder bag but a lot of the civilian market ones uh don't have the uh i don't think they have the capacity to put much more than the bladder I want to at least have some room for some layers. You know, you could put some jackets. I mean, well, a jacket and a raincoat maybe, or like a rain shell. Um, I mean, at least some light ones, stuff in there. Plus have room for your water, more extra water and snacks. Uh, anything else you need. Uh, survival kit, stuff like that. Now, I find a lot of the, because I want to get into trail running too. A lot of the trail running vests and stuff like that don't have for me I, I don't feel like it has enough especially when it comes to having layers and i mean one thing might be too since i'm a bigger guy i'm not gonna have a small jacket uh it's gonna be a lot more material because i work, work like a 2x um but uh this when i was in the market for that uh, i noticed this um assault pack which i had no idea this is like some new army surplus thing because when I was a kid, I used to be in scouts. We used to go army surplus stores to get camping gear, bags, stuff like that. And um, back then, it was leftover stuff from Korea, maybe even World War II. Uh, so some of the stuff army surplus, I have no idea. I was never in the military, never planning to be. Um, but a lot of stuff, uh, I mean, I've always found that military items or, or have utilitarian purposes, right, that are could be uh, give you an advantage, right? Even in the civilian, uh, uses for like a bag like this. Okay. Now I was going to pull out the, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, oh, the, the green, like I've been doing lately. I think it looks a lot better though. When I pull out the green, um, wool army blanket, you know, like the one from Nam <laughs> in the bunks, you know, the basic training type, uh, green roll blankets. But, uh, I think it was going to be hard to see green on green. So I went ahead and just left it. <laughs> My sofa background is going to clash with the blue. You'll be able to see exactly what I'm looking at. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. Now, <clears throat> this is not Eagle Industries. Uh, this is not from um, Venture Surplus. Uh, I saw the price range and I was like, whoa, you know, I thought this guy was selling um, military surplus. But... When I did a little more research, um, that's the going rate for those bags. I mean, you're talking two, three hundred bucks. Now, um, I got a deal on this one. I got an eBay. Guy said he was clearing it out. It was just sitting in his, um, uh, sitting in his closet. He even had mentioned, and he's telling the truth. Looks like it was, you know, still got a seal for the bite valve. He really didn't ever use it. Okay. Now, <clears throat> paid a hundred bucks on eBay for that. Okay. Um, now, even, even for me, I'm still thinking a hundred bucks is a lot, but these bags are going for two or 300 bucks, uh, you know, give or take plus, you know, um, so, and that's used condition. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember, I think when I looked at the Eagles Industries website, it was fairly close, similar, even if you bought a brand new one from them, 
on their website. Uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. Um, actually, let me let me get a light on it here. There we go. All right, we've got some more lighting, right? Okay. Now the light's gonna come in from the side, so I hope it don't hear. That might put too much shadow. Well, I'll turn it this way. We can look. There we go. Um, Amy, that one's too much. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Um, so, what's unique about this bag? Like I told you, I was in the market for a trail running bag, but I want something that can hold my layers, extra food, extra, you know, survival kit gear. Like, I wanted good capacity. Now, this is a, this is good for a water bladder. It came with a water bladder. Hasn't been used, okay? This particular bladder, I'm not sure. Like I said, this is from a brand called, let me just look at this. Now, the guy I bought it from, he actually did a little extra for me, or for himself, but it will wound up being for me once I bought it. He put these uh, little straps there, like this padding straps. He said they're molly padding straps. Um, I thought that was pretty interesting. You could do that. Okay, so now the tag right here, you'll see it says T3gear.com. Okay, now these bags are going for just as much as the Eagle Industries. Um, now, the only thing is, well, I might still be in the market looking for if I can find a army surplus one because I have to double check, but I don't think that this is IR compliant. Okay. Um, quick little tip. Uh, and I didn't realize this at the time. I accidentally stumbled upon this, but you can double check your IR compliancy with your home security cameras because if you go into night vision mode, it's throwing an IR light to illuminate better, right? Um, so I could have swore the other day I had this bag just sitting out in my living room and I had my uh, <clears throat> my uh, Savada bag, which I know is IR compliant. Savada bag comes out dark. Um, and I could have swore I saw this one glowing, like <laughs> like glowing. Um, so uh, curious to know if the actual army surplus ones might be more IR compliant. I would imagine they would have to be. Um, so that's the drawback to trying to get a deal and not getting the actual army surplus. Now, don't forget, like I said, they're going for two, three hundred bucks, but, um, that's used, you know, and I think I saw some on the actual website, like I mentioned, that were even like different colors. Like you can get gray, stuff like that, that wasn't like army colors. Um, there's white one too. So you got that beaver tail. Uh, the hydrate, we'll talk more about the beaver tail in a minute, but the hydration pack, uh, this is hydro pack it has a measuring system up the side here okay and it looks like it goes up to 100 fluid ounces right this is the outside and liters right uh this is brand new i just wiped down everything felt a little dusty probably from sitting in somebody's uh closet uh i wiped it down okay now this i believe it came into this little net thing but i noticed when i shove it back in there the top like folds over low so if you want to get maximum capacity of water i think it might have to go into the main compartment so i've never i've never ran with a traveled with a, a water bladder before i would imagine this thing's gonna expand don't know if it i don't know if it fits in there or it's supposed to be intended to be into those nets because i know a lot of them have that uh i'll look i'll look into it but i just know it's hidden the bottom and the top is folding over so don't know how it's going to work, uh, but there's plenty of capacity uh, on here. Now, I noticed, now here's the thing. Like I said, I want to be able to put uh, maybe some layers, stuff like that, right? And I can roll those up, stick them in there. Okay. Now, attachment points for me were a bit of an issue. I was just thinking about that because the, the Army Surplus ones are going to have Molly right here. Okay, they're gonna have Molly on the outside too as well. Wherever you see, like, um, I think Eagle Industries might even have aftermarket civilian versions that are gonna just have uh, a Velcro field here. Uh, but if they, you get the true Army surplus ones, you're gonna have Molly instead of Velcro, and you're gonna have Molly inside. And just see the video from Venture Surplus. He does a great job explaining that. Uh, but since there's no Molly inside, I don't have any anchoring points to like bungee things down, which I'm a little worried. That one, even when you clip that down, something could, you know, fall out. You're running around. And this is designed to be an assault pack. So, 
should be used for <laughs> being able to run around. Now, and I don't know, the army surplus ones are not going to have uh, this, uh, but hey, it's some extra paracord, really, if you need it for survival purposes. Now, as far as anchoring points, I was so upset about that. I was trying to figure out, did they, and I can't find nothing on Amazon. If you guys know something, let me know. But um, I was looking for maybe some kind of stick on uh, Molly that I could put or some, something to make an attachment point. Couldn't find nothing. But then I realized there's some Molly right here. Okay. And I could probably run a bungee across here like this. Okay. Maybe even a X style going around. Um, so from here. It just runs all the way on the top to the sides. Okay, so I believe we can use that as an anchoring point um, for to wrap around some bungee around anything sitting in here. Um, I'll try that out. Hopefully, that's, I can get that going. Uh, I'll let you know once I do that. Now, the thing about this T3 series, uh, you're going to notice the side pockets are a little bit bigger. Uh, the guy who sold it to me on his eBay listing, he wrote down that it was going to be... Uh, like enough for an algae, I'm not too sure, but uh, you might be able to fit something. I mean, you definitely be able to fit a plastic water bottle in there if you want. Um, but like I was mentioning, this is the beaver tail design. Okay, you got a net there. Uh, I've heard some people mention, uh, I think on some websites that are selling them, that it could be for putting you know stuff from the beach. You know, <laughs> that's wet, drying still. You don't want to stick it in your bag. It might be sandy stuff like that. Uh, but it could be anything. I mean, you could put extra ammo in there if it was being used for that purpose. I'm assuming that would be great if you were, uh, like, actually uh, needing to run ammo around. If you were actually in the military needing this for that purpose. But if not, you could fit anything here. You could probably just stick a computer in here if you had to. And I would imagine that sometimes I hear these guys talking about, a, or like on, on the news, saying that... Um, you know they do raids and they take computers and things like that and how you do how you take a whole computer hard drive on you but i could see one fitting in here if they're using assault packs like this okay you could take a whole uh uh tower like that probably uh i would imagine it's possible uh maybe maybe some modifications are needed but uh and i could be wrong but okay and uh but the thing is it's it's highly adjustable you can adjust it more you can get more depth there um, I just didn't want to pull it out. The guy prior to me has it since I'm pretty good here. I don't see foresee needing any more space in that in the beaver tail. Okay, so you got the main compartment with your hydration bladder. Uh, now I did notice one little feature, and I'm glad I didn't make this video right after I unboxed it. Uh, well, it wasn't in a box; it was in a mailer. But <laughs> so you got a, a a hole right here for the hydration bladder too, right? But you also have it on the sides. You have one on the, where is it, right here, on the right side. Could pass through right into the bag area where the hydration bladder would be. And you have it on the left side as well, okay, um, right there. The pass through, another pass through, okay. So you got options here. You can run through the top, you can run through either side you want, okay. Like I said, uh, guy put the padding on there already. It doesn't come with it. Um, it does have a, um, uh, a strap that, you know, chest strap. There's no belt system. Okay. Just these straps. Now they're kind of thin, but I don't foresee needing to have too much padding. I don't think you're going to be wearing too much there. On Amazon, I did buy these things. You can slip on the Molly, uh, to make extra pouches. Uh, I'll see how that comes out when I add those upgrades, okay? We talked about the main compartment, right? It's fairly large. Uh, it does have a weep hole at the bottom. I guess we can call it that, right? Uh, one of these, so things can drain. Uh, there's also one for the front pocket as well, okay? Now, you got the two size pockets that I mentioned before. Um, the front has a small pocket. It's about... It's about the size of an index card, uh, a little bit more, maybe a large index card, but uh, it's about, I mean, a good six inches deep. Uh, okay, you have the beaver tail compartment with the netting on the side. You can clip this down. Uh, let me move the camera a bit. Let me show you what it is sealed up. Of course.
Okay, like that. Like I said, I would I would want to run to this Molly here some uh, bungee, um, so that way I can maybe secure this a little extra, um, and maybe you could even. I think it might be best this way, right? Um, now you have on this front flap of the beaver tail. This is more like the size of a regular index card. Small pocket with a. Uh, looks like a field uh, uh, of a Velcro there, a Velcro field. You got like a double Velcro field here with a larger pocket. Now, this brand, the T3 brand, is going to give you some larger pockets. Um, so we got a pretty large pocket there with the the drain hole as well. Okay, and uh, that's basically it. Okay, you got two pockets up here. You got the beaver tail compartment main compartment with the netting um so and the side pockets okay i'm gonna upgrade this by putting uh molly pocket attachments that i got uh on amazon okay and i'm gonna do a little more inspecting on the uh ir compliancy actually i might be able to do that for this video if i do i'll include that if not i will um, put that in another video later. Now, uh, my intent, like I said, is for trail running. Compared to what I've seen with the civilian items, uh, I believe this has a lot more capacity. Um, so, and I like the the ideas military surplus style. This one is style, um, and. I was able to get in green. Now, military surplus, I don't, I haven't seen any green. Let me know if you've seen them in green. Uh, this is more like the, um, I want to say it's a ranger green. This almost looks like my Sabata bag. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, ranger green, I think it's a little bit a different shade, but it might be marketed as ranger green, but, um, I like I was able to get this in green since uh, my Savada bag is green. Um, I thought that was neat to go with. And now they do have other colors. I saw them in black. I thought that's kind of neat too. If I really like this, I might go with black. Um, they do market them also to be like able to hold helmets. This might be for you if you're into airsoft. You need the airsoft helmet holder. If you ride a motorcycle, stuff like that. Uh, they can fit in a net real easily. Uh, but <clears throat> as far as, as, far as uh, trail running, like I said... I hope this will serve me well as far as capacity. And um, uh, I think I'll go ahead and end it there. Let me see if I can get the hour uh, footage and I'll attach it to the end if I can.